everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Spatial Web AI Podcast Knowledge Bank. Uh, my name is Denise Holt, and I'm your host. And today, uh, we are going to be comparing large language model AI to active inference AI. And uh, the subject of this discussion is called AI, the maker versus the operator. So let's jump right in. Versus AI is a cognitive computing company that has overcome the limitations of machine learning AI by building a new kind of artificial intelligence based on a real-time world model described as AI that grows in knowledge, perception, and awareness through the evolving real-time data produced by all things at all times throughout our living, breathing, and ever-changing world. This is Active Inference AI, an entirely new type of networked AI that is designed for real-time operations, including things like managing the daily operations of a hospital, an airport, global supply chains, an entire smart city, global drone and autonomous vehicle traffic, and other real-world activities. This introduces a new era of artificial intelligence, which enables us to streamline, optimize, and automate every mission-critical, real-life function that we interact with every day. The days of training AI on big data with probabilistic results will give way to an interconnected internet of everything that deploys active inference AI throughout the network. Inherently secure and accurate because it takes any point of real-time data and makes it smart through an empowered ecosystem of interconnected AI apps called intelligent agents. This networked system operates in tandem with humans, growing in intelligence in sync with humans and the world. So what makes a predictive machine learning model different from active inference AI of the spatial web? In the world of AI, machine learning models are sometimes referred to as deep fakes of intelligence or stochastic parrots. A machine model displays superficial intelligence. It can only give an answer with a guess that is accurate to the point of the answer having been included in its training data. Otherwise, it will make up an answer. It's all based on probability of accuracy, but never 100%. And even at that, it can still be wrong with a tendency to make things up, attempting to make it sound appropriate. But an appropriate output? It's very different from an accurate output. Active inference AI with the spatial web protocol is accurate because it's based on real-time, real-life data that's continually updating as the changing details and context around any entity in any space unfolds over time. Predictive machines are great as content generators, idea enhancers, and task execution. Active inference can make decisions incorporating real-time data. Active inference can run the planet. These are two very different animals. Generative and transformer AI models have no ability for comprehension, awareness, or perception. They possess no capacity to reason or plan, and they have no understanding of how the world works. Predictive pattern matching machines can fake it, given enough data that it models from, but they are merely interpolating and regurgitating the patterns they have recognized that are already in use and familiar to us. A GPT will tell you a great story about your city, but it can't control the traffic within your city in real time because it does not look outward at the world around us. Instead, it looks inward to its historical memory, which consists of billions of parameters and words from the past that were downloaded into it. If it tells you a story about New York, that narrative is based on the words and references that it's been exposed to, not what is happening in New York right this instant. And because it has no window into the actual real-time activities within New York itself, it can make tremendous errors which would be unacceptable for mission-critical applications like smart cities or banking or policing or the myriad of other real-world applications in which we need AI. Fluent versus factual. 
Large language models are well versed because the statistics of fluency are easily obtained from the training data. Logic and accuracy are a much harder ask. GPT-3, ChatGPT, LLAMA, Bing Chat, and GPT-4 are all autoregressive LLMs. Autoregressive generative model structure operates in a way that when structuring a language sequence, it produces one token after another, reflecting on the result of the previous token to determine what to produce next. A token is a word or a subword. At each step of token production, there's a point of probability taking place for steering towards accuracy or inaccuracy. There will always be probability that the next token produced can take the model down an incorrect path. Each token produced provides an opportunity to branch off into a unique response, while also producing a new opportunity to stray from the truth. This deviation plays out exponentially with each new fork that is taking cues from the previous token, analyzing it to determine its next move. Each prediction impacts every prediction thereafter. Without reasoning and understanding, these errors are likely to compound as the process feeds on those errors. At no point is the machine able to ask itself if this string of text entries makes intellectual and reasonable sense. This problem cannot be fixed with LLMs. There will always be an element of possibility for the model results to go haywire. This is where the AI hallucination factor comes in. A model based on probability is unmanageable in a continuous environment because if or when it goes off track, there's no way to rein it back in. For AI to become factual, it would have to accurately predict every detail of the world. Enter the long-awaited world model. Spatial Web Protocol, HSTP, and HSML for the world model and model predictive control. Versus AI is expanding the internet for networked intelligence. There's a fundamental power within a connected world, collective intelligence, a hive mind. This computable and distributed intelligence is what powers the AI of the future. By building a new protocol as a public standard and then giving it away free to the public, Versus AI has enabled a frictionless network for scalability. HSML, Hyperspace Modeling Language, is the programming language that computes context, enabling the AI's perception to understand the real-time changing state of anything in the world. HSTP, Hyperspace Transaction Protocol, the Spatial Web Protocol, will recognize any person, place, or thing as a unique entity within this network, providing it with a unique ID and acting as a gatekeeper for access, interaction, and transaction by and between all things. Anything inside of any space becomes a nested domain uniquely identifiable and programmable within a digital twin of the Earth, producing a model for data normalization. Contingencies and changing details and circumstances for any object and situation can now be measured and computed, providing a basis for AI perception affecting all entities and their interrelationships to each other. Connecting the planet is a massive undertaking that can only be enacted by putting it in the hands of individuals, developers, and builders. For AI, this is the critical piece for scaling AI to AGI. This is what Versus AI has built. So what makes active inference so accurate? Active Inference AI is based on biological design, embodied AI, with the ability to take action. This is the core engine. Active Inference is so accurate because it continually looks outward into the world, measuring the world, in real time through a global network of sensors, IoT devices, cameras, robots, drones, anything that is connected within the spatial web, the digital twin network of the world. This mimics the way humans and animals make decisions. 
As we use our senses to see the world as it is, moment by moment, we can then more accurately estimate what might happen if we perform an action. As a human, if we are walking down the street and see a reckless driver coming towards us, we recognize it, notice the erratic actions, infer what would happen if we stood in the way of the car, and we can make the decision to jump out of the way and save ourselves. We do this because we're able to take in all the information about the situation and the context involved. The car, the driver, the speed, the pattern of driving, where we stand in relation to the trajectory of the moving vehicle. Through our senses, we obtain awareness to the situation and therefore can make decisions based on the perception feedback loop that's updating moment by moment as the car gets closer to the point of understanding exactly how to take action, when to jump, and in which direction to go. In the spatial web, Active Inference AI can reach out and interact with the world through all the networked IoT sensors, machines, and the context of HSML, informing the constantly changing details and characteristics of the interrelationships between all things. This creates a cybernetic feedback loop of perception of the world, updating its model of the world with belief of what it knows to be true gaining understanding of the intricacies and inner workings of the world so it can make decisions and take action. The more this feedback loop plays out, the AI learns more about the world and the results of actions taken, just as a child learns about its world as it grows and interacts with it. And the more accurate this AI becomes by further updating its understanding of the world. Intelligent Agents with Agency AIs versus IAs. AIs are large siloed machines with independent functions. IAs are intelligent agents with agency for interoperable behavior. The spatial web creates an ecosystem of distributed intelligence with com computational context equipping intelligent agents with the right kind of data, data that specifies the details, characteristics, and attributes about anything in any space and how they interact and relate to each other. This enables the intelligent agents to have agency to function through self-organization using belief updating what it knows to be true at any given moment. It's a system of distributed cognition throughout a unified network containing multiple entities interacting intelligently with each other, communicating with each other, and sharing what they know to be true. This sort of data facilitated agency empowers these IAs to develop perception, awareness, and curiosity about their environment the data surrounding all agents within the environment. This enables curiosity about me and you. According to Versus AI chief scientist, Dr. Carl Friston, curiosity, when referring to the free energy principle, is described as the resolution of uncertainty. Dr. Friston describes curiosity this way, quote, to be curious, you have to imagine what would happen if I did that, and what would I know if I did that, but you'll have to imagine it before it's actually happened, which is the big bright line between the anthropomorphic kind of intelligence and the intelligence you find in a thermostat, end quote. A new era of networked intelligence. Versus AI has laid the foundation for a universal mind that is grounded in reality as a digital twin of Earth and anything within it. While deep learning, machine learning AI creates powerful content generating tools and a task execution, it can't run a city. These predictive machine model neural networks are incredible, but they won't get to AGI without being incorporated into a world model of everything. The AI of the spatial web can. Dan Mapes, president and founder of Versus AI, says this, quote, I think that ChatGPT is a miracle and is introducing everyone into the potential benefits of AI in their lives. All the variations of ChatGPT and LLMs in general are total miracles and are saving humanity millions of hours doing things, especially anything mundane. But... It's more of a maker. Make me this. Code me this. Tell me this. 
What it's not good for is being an operator. Run my hospital, run my airport, run my city. For that, you need real-time data, and you need to understand how the mind learns. For that, you need active inference. Active equals real-time decision-making based on real-time data and a constantly updated world model. End quote. Active inference AI is not a language model generating words about the world that are based on historical encyclopedia of knowledge it's been fed regarding the world. Active inference is more like a biological organism that perceives and acts on our world by generating more accurate models, understandings, and beliefs about our world. These ever more accurate world models enable better decisions, a smarter world, this is the measure of true intelligence. You can learn more about the Spatial Web Protocol and Active Inference AI by visiting the Versus AI website at versus.ai and the Spatial Web Foundation at spatialwebfoundation.org. Be sure to check out the show notes. Uh, there's a direct link in there to an infographic that is a comparison between these large language models and active inference AI. So uh, that'll give you a greater understanding of the differences between these types of AI. Thank you so much for being here with us today and joining us. And we'll see you next time.